There was something wrong with this place. Something mysterious. Something to be worried about. The walls, the stairs, the hallway, the freaking dining room and the backyard. My dad's self-made motel right in the middle of the woods. It's hard to imagine, but my whole childhood went down at that place after Ma left the house in solitude. That night, the rain was coming down hard, and the wind was just whipping. It was getting so intense that the windows started shaking more and more with each passing moment. Dad had left the motel for some reason, and I was all by myself, but the lightings and the thunder rumbling. It was getting harder for me to stay calm. I kept looking around, making horrific fantasies about the place. And Dad, it was a little late. What was that? I swear I saw someone pass by the window. The sound of footsteps were echoing all around the house. <sighs> Who was that? My dad had his own set of keys. I felt this urge to do something, to escape the situation I was in. My room. I could go to my room upstairs and lock myself inside, though it was hard to decide about entering that dark, eerie staircase. I made my way towards my room, as hard as it was. Am I wrong? What was that? Am I really saw someone? Oh my god, I'm sure there was someone downstairs. He was moving around looking for something. He was coming upstairs. I felt more and more desperate by every step he took toward my room. He was there behind the door, just behind my back. I could hear him breathing right behind my back. Oh my god, what if he tries to open the door? Suddenly, I heard the entrance door of the motel creak open and I caught the sound of my dad calling my name a few times. God, it was relieving and bone-chilling at the same time. Who the heck was this guy then? I didn't know what to do. I couldn't think straight. Then, I made a snap decision. The only one that came to my mind. I yelled at the top of my lungs. Asking for help. In the meanwhile, I could hear Dad rushing toward my room. Hiding under my bed, he swung the door open and found me in a state of horror and distress. Hiding under my bed, screaming and crying. 
He asked what happened a couple of times. I swear there's something inside the house. He rushed for his gun and started searching door to door. But he ain't found anything. Later that night, Dad took me downstairs and started asking questions, trying to piece together the events. I went through everything and explained everything from scratch a couple of times. Dad seemed to be disappointed. He had this already weird kid that just turned to be delusional now. But all the voices... I could hear him clearly. He was right there, behind the door, breathing. 